Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at another high boxing RC and this one they call the Protector. It is a four wheel drive, 112 scale electric sand rail buggy. The main features they are listing here are hobby grade all terrain, four wheel drive, modular chassis design, splash water resistant ESC slash receiver, metal diff, ball bearings, roll cage and a spare wheel. Fantastic. Let's take a quick look at the box here. Some nice graphics on there. It's ready to run. The 390 motor is in this one. Giving you a little bit of uh, the dimensions of it there. Take a look at the edge here. Another nice graphic there. This is a sweet looking RC. I'm excited to get into this one. And we'll flip it over to the other edge where they're showing us a little bit of the inside, showing the motor, showing the ESC and showing the vivid printed driver figure. That's cool, I love having a little action figure in there. And uh, yeah, it just kind of completes the look of everything. So, before we get into the actual unboxing of the protector here, let's take a look at some of the advertisements that are listed on Amazon. All right, so looking at the online advertisement here, 38 plus kilometers per hour, four by four, four wheel drive, Looks like we got 30 plus minutes of runtime. Let's go over to the next. Bright top LEDs. So it looks like we're getting some LEDs included and it looked like that in the actual picture on the box. That's pretty sweet. Advertisement there. Another picture. Side view. Nice side shot there. Box contains. All right. So it looks like they have these... Uh, I think they're called 18650, at least that's what I call them, batteries. Kind of like an oversized AA type battery, quite oversized. So it looks like we get two packs of those. Not sure if it runs off two of those at a time or four of those at a time. Looks like we get the manual, looks like we get a sticker sheet, screwdriver, four body clips, the transmitter, and the RC. And just looking quickly at some of the dimensions, 235 millimeters or 9.3 inches wide, 395 millimeters or 15 and a half inches long, and 155 mil or 6.1 inches in height. So it's a decent size RC here. Another little advertisement picture and that's it for the pictures that are uh, on here. Let's uh, go have a look at some of the description. All right, so rechargeable lithium ion batteries. 3.7 volts times 2 and they're 1500 milliamps okay on the picture it showed 4 so maybe we're getting an extra set of batteries the control range 260 feet that's decent I like that got the mounted spare wheel that is an actual wheel not a decorative wheel and what else can we look at here AA batteries for the transmitter not included the gear ratio, 1 to 11.46. Anything else here? Features, details, 4x4, off-road waterproof, full proportional control system here. They're also advertising that this is a handsome Christmas gift. And I would have to agree, this is definitely a handsome Christmas gift. I would love to get this for a Christmas present. And I'm sure many other RC enthusiasts would also love to get their hands on this. And one thing I'm noticing here that's standing out to me is that all service parts are available on Amazon, which is fantastic. If all these parts are available for purchase on Amazon, that means you're going to be able to keep this protector up and running if something were to break on it. And their customer support team is on standby 24-7. If that's the case and they have a customer support team in place available 24 7 that is awesome at least you know there is support there when you need it that would have to be a big positive to purchasing this product if that's the case all right guys let's get into it let's take a look at the protector all right so Look right away as we open the box here, we've got the decals here. So we're gonna have to decal up this uh, this RC here. That's fantastic, lots of options here. So next time you see it, this thing will be fully decaled, ready to go. Let's put that aside. 
everything's wrapped in bubble wrap here so let's see what's going on like always guys this is my first time looking in the box so it looks like we've got the charger here which runs off of USB to a, to a barrel type plug there and what else here's our uh, spare wheel take a look at that together screwdriver four extra body clips Spare tire. Decent rubber on that spare tire. Let's see what's next here. We've got two batteries right there. And right away there's a warning. This is pair B. Do not mix pair A with pair B. So that's actually a good warning. They want you to use the two same batteries always in the RC. And the manual. Let's take a look at the manual quickly here. Nice high gloss manual, black and white imaging on the front there everything's black and white but it looks like it's very detailed multi-language and I'm just looking for the spare parts list that they were advertising online if there's this yeah there it is so we got exploded views schematics all that good stuff here and the spare parts list fantastic I like that and knowing that these are available online to purchase spare parts for that is great all right, service card. You may recognize the hailstorm there. We reviewed that not too long ago. Haven't got my hands on the Rampage yet. Hi, Boxing. I want to check out the Rampage if you're, uh, if you're listening. All right, getting in here, transmitter. There we go. Decent sized transmitter, that's for sure. Get it out of the bag here. All right, that's actually not too bad. Decent sized transmitter. You got some throttle trim, steering trim right there, steering reverse switch, and on and off. Fantastic, and able to open it up here, and it takes, takes two AA batteries. I like that transmitter, nice oversized base on it. Feels great in the hands actually for an adult. This is a great size. And there's a an auxiliary button. I wonder if that's to turn your lights on and off on that uh, light bar on the top. All right, so here's our first look at the HBX protector. Right away popping out to me is that color scheme with the orange, silver, black, little bit of gray in there. That combination of colors looks very sharp on this RC. It does have plastic film on all the body panels, which will need to be removed before we decal it up. Uh, looking at the roll cage here, the tubular roll cage design, very nice, feels very durable. The light bar, we do indeed get four LED lights in that light bar, and the light bar itself actually looks well designed, especially with that back bracing. Should be able to handle uh, anything that we put it through without damaging it. Tires, like I said, they look very durable, they feel very durable, aggressive tread on them, the rubber feels good. Do not feel like they're foam filled, but I may be wrong on that, I'm not 100% sure. There's nothing in the advertisements that says they're foam filled, but they very well could be. I, I do like the mag design on there, very nice. The added little details on this RC, like the driver in the front seat, it's a nice little touch there, gives it a little bit of a realistic look to it. We have oversized spring shocks. I will be testing it with these included shocks, but I will also be looking into getting some oil filled shocks, which I do believe are available for this RC. On the back here is our mounting post for the spare tire, which is a usable spare tire, by the way. It is a, a true spare. We'll put that on. Included to mount the spare tire is actually the same screw that is used to mount the wheels to the RC. And they do give you a screwdriver. I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use something a little easier for me to put it in. A little oversized screwdriver here. Might as well get that on quickly here. Okay. That's on. 
All right, so looking on the back end here, it's apparent we only have two body clips holding this down, nothing on the front, which leads me to believe we have a hinge type flip up body on this. And I really like these body clips actually with the oversized ends on them, very easy to grab and pull out. We'll flip that up and indeed it is a flip up body. We have our 390 motor with a heat sink on it. We have our ESC receiver there, which has a heat sink on it. Our servos up front here, saddle style uh, battery uh, here. And ah, they've got a little bit of duct tape on there. That's nice because I have another RC with this setup and it was very hard to get the batteries out without the assistance of a screwdriver. So nice little added touch there. I like that. And actually makes it a lot easier to get them in as well. And once you have those batteries in there, you just put these covers back on. They just snap into place quite easily. Like so. There is an on off switch on here somewhere. There it is right up front on the passenger side is your on off switch. You press and hold, which will turn it on and the lights will flash until you connect and pair it with the transmitter. All right, that about does it with our first look at the HBX protector. Next time you see it, we're gonna have it all nicely deckled up. We'll be out on location testing it out. I believe the best way to test this out is probably gonna have to be an off-road bashing session to do it justice. I don't believe this is a pavement princess and we're not gonna treat it like that. Until then guys, let's give this video a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, before you head out, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And remember, don't be a stranger. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.